BYU's quest to win another national championship in men's volleyball, getting a big boost from freshman sensation Ben Patch, and we welcome Ben to True Blue. Are you okay with that freshman sensation introduction? I mean, it is what it is. It is. You're having a sensational freshman year, so it's, it seems to fit uh, for, for a kid out of Provo High School really making a splash on a very good team. What's that like? Um, extraordinary. Something that I never thought I'd experience especially being the number one team. You know, it comes with a lot of pressure, but so far, I just don't feel like our team has a lot of pressure on us. We're just having, you know, blast playing. One thing that we've seen as, as many of your matches have been on BYU TV is you have the ability to jump out of the gym. Was that just natural instinct or, or a, as you're approaching the net, what, what's going through your mind? I mean, you just gotta touch the sky as high as you can. Just kidding, but <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know, just training prior to this, you know. Doing some pile training, some you know, jump training, trying to get your vertical up as high as you possibly can. You don't look like you're a freshman out there, and yet you're playing with maybe the best player in the country in Taylor Sander, and then your teammates, which are all pretty good. Uh, how, how have you found a way to fit in? Um, to not look like a freshman, you mean? Yeah, you don't look like one. I mean, you just got to pump up, do some push-ups before, you know, <laughs> work on your stone-cold face. But uh, I don't know, just looking up to your teammates, you literally just have to mimic everything they do to play with some poise. As you're learning to dominate the net uh, and you spike it right into somebody, what, what message to send and what do you hope they're learning about what you're bringing all night long? You just don't mess with us, you know. <laughs> you, we swing and we get kills and you go home. That's swing, get kills, and you go home. And getting kills has been a, a pretty significant thing for you. Uh, setting the, the school record in the Irvine series, right, with, uh, with kills. What, what, what's, the, uh, what's the key to a kill? It's just swinging high and deep, aiming for those back lines. Hopefully something will happen. Just swing and close your eyes and hope it goes down. 35, we're looking at the graphic here, the single match record. Most at BYU since 2001. Uh, how is Taylor helping bring you along? I mean, even just playing with the, in the gym with someone like that, you know, Chances are you're going to get better just playing against him. Um, but what helps him most is his mentoring along the way. Yeah. You know, every single play, every so often, he's coming to talk to me, you know, swing here, remember to do this and this, you know, work on this, and, you know, follow me when I do this. And that's really helped in my game, personally, I think. He might be the best player to ever play volleyball at BYU when it's all said and done. And he's the first guy to say, hey, have you seen Ben Patch? You need to see this guy. That's, that's a pretty good reference. Yeah. It means a lot. It's awesome. Let's go back to Provo High School. All right, in the state of Utah, there's no men's volleyball program. Uh, how much did Provo High try to get you to play basketball at 6'9"? And, and then we'll talk about your volleyball. Um, well, I mean, not too much because in the beginning of my high school career, I was very, I wasn't even tall. I wasn't that tall. And uh, I was playing volleyball as a shorter person. And then, you know, end of my really? sophomore. Really? What, what's a shorter person? Because you're 6'9 now. Right. I went to high school being like 5'8". No five kidding. Nine. Yeah, I was really short. And uh, so by the time I got tall, I, you know, they, everyone at my high school knew that I was pretty invested in, in volleyball. And it seems like you could just jump and dunk. So did they try to get you to go, hey, come join us and we'll just post you up for basketball? I don't know. They're probably scared that I'd try to spike the ball, you know, away <laughs> from everyone instead of dunking it. So it doesn't work out. They're going, all right, this is, if you, you can't dribble. Yeah. Right? You're out. So you go and play with the women's volleyball team. Yeah. <laughs> just walk me through how that went. Started my freshman year. No boys volleyball. You got to do what you got to do take one for the team and go play at the women's team. I mean, I was so bad. Their freshman team was better than I was. And I, but I still just stayed after, practice, uh, after school and practiced with them and kept playing all through my years. Eventually played with the varsity team, practiced with them, helped them out. And then my senior year, I was actually coaching the, their varsity team. No kidding. Yeah. So in a way, the girls team helped prepare you for being a dominant men's volleyball player. You know, I don't want to admit that, but, you know, yeah, kind of. And you probably got a few dates out of it, too. There just seems to be a number of motives for, uh, for doing that uh, that's all worked out. Yeah, the, I might say it was for volleyball, but it definitely wasn't. You know, get the <laughs> hookups with the girls. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a big week ahead. Yeah. you got a, a couple of matches, but let's talk about Saturday at Long Beach State. They beat you here. Uh, you're battling to dominate the division get that seed, get to the Final Four, play for a national championship. But Saturday's a big match. Yeah, I mean, we have a favor to repay to them, and they're a uh, loss on a record that's a big one. And so I think this weekend is kind of a, you know, battling ground for us and how we're going to fight back and, you know, turn it into a win. 
um, is something that I think we have to start preparing for today. So Northridge first up and then Long Beach State. Do you feel this is a unit coming together that can conquer the country and win another national championship? You know, I feel like we're getting there. The, the values that we're trying to get off the court, I think is helping us on the court, um, especially just, you know, um, the way we practice and practice is we don't just practice, you know, volleyball. We practice being good people and good teammates, and that really um, transcends into our volleyball matches when we're down in these really tight sets and we have to dig deep and, you know, battle through these grueling five-game five, five game matches. All right, how's school going? Oh, You surviving? Oh, first semester, cake. Second semester, not volleyball so season. <laughs> I'm, I'll be lucky with a 1.0. Hey, let's not talk about that. You just keep it together. we got three and a half more years yeah. of you on the volleyball court and in the classroom. Ben, congratulations on your season. Thank Good you. luck this week. Thank you. Thank you.